Good morning, everybody. This is Johnny C, and this is my first installment of uh, my video log, Writing to the Right. Yesterday, in a speech in um, Monterey, California, Bernie Sanders um, talked about fracking, and this is what he said. Secretary Clinton wants to do it one way or another, quote-unquote, regulate fracking. Well, I think it is too late for regulating. I think fracking has got to be banned in America. I look over here at this USA Today piece, and it said if fracking were banned everywhere, the supply of natural gas would plummet, and the price for gas and electricity would skyrocket, because 33% of America's power is generated by natural gas. And because gas generation is also often the price setter for the power market, many consumers would pay about $500 more each year on their power bills. Half of the nation's families, those who also use gas as a heating source, would pay about $1,000 more annually. Higher energy costs would be especially devastating for the poor, who often spend 20% or more of their incomes on energy. A fracking ban would worsen economic injustice and cause many utility shutoffs, a particularly ironic result given Sanders' focus on economic equality. Even middle-class consumers, who now cheer no fracking anywhere, would jeer the skyrocketing bills when they arrived. So let's take a ride and talk about this a little more. You know, one of the things I find particularly troubling about Sanders and what he said there is that He's, um, he's following the same model that the president has been following when it comes to moving his agenda. Um, the president doesn't seem to have any problem going outside his constitutional mandate to um, get what he wants. Uh, like, like the president, Bernie Sanders does not understand the separation of powers. Uh, the way the framers laid it out in the Constitution. You know, Congress is the one who passes laws, not the president. The president doesn't just make laws through either creating new new things or, or banning existing things. Now that should tell that should tell some of these young people something. Um, If he's willing to ban fracking, what else is he willing to ban? It might be something that some of his supporters might actually like, and he might want to ban it at some point. So yeah, I find him to be particularly troubling. Um, it's funny, I was in another discussion with a person where uh, Bernie Sanders was talking about gun rights, and we came to the conclusion that he kind of held a more uh, federalist position on gun rights and states' rights and such, but uh, it doesn't seem to be the case after all. So imagine that, you know, another thousand dollars a year to heat your house. You know, this ban on fracking is, uh, would obviously be bad for the economy. It'd be bad for consumers. I'm already paying 95 to 150 dollars a month uh, on electricity to heat and cool my house. My last bill was 95 bucks. You know, electricity is um, is right up there with with water as far as uh, something that I feel that we really need to have in order to maintain a civil society. Um, and if you don't believe me, imagine going six months without electricity. Uh, what that would do to your lifestyle. Imagine six months without electricity across the country. And the whole country would just grind to a halt. Computers wouldn't work. Um, people wouldn't be able to uh, get products that they need in the stores because the trucking companies would have a hard time dispatching uh, freight where it needed to go. You know, and that's just one tiny aspect of it. Um, hospitals wouldn't... Uh, wouldn't be able to operate efficiently. They'd have to go on uh, backup power. 
No, so there's a lot of things to consider. And one, you know, one of the other things that USA article today said that um, if we were to ban fracking, it would cause um, coal to become uh, less expensive. And obviously, when you're talking about energy production, producers are going to go for the less expensive option. So all this, all this stuff around coal with mercury and um, being released in the environment and acid rain being produced from coal-fired power plants. If you ban fracking, you wind up with uh, more pollution from coal. You see, that's just not how things work in this country. Energy is, people are gonna always wanna buy the least expensive thing. It's just a natural thing that people do. And right now we don't have enough alternative power in the form of wind and solar, uh, hydro, that sort of thing to compensate for a loss in power from fossil fuels. And I don't have a problem with alternative energy. I think it's great, I think it's cool. But what Bernie Sanders is talking about doing, uh, much like uh, Obama's already done, he, uh, he would ban fracking and then he would turn around and he would use government money, you know, our money, to subsidize industries like solar and wind. and. Solar power, to my knowledge, still hasn't gotten to the point to where it can produce um, enough energy to be profitable. So we go and we spend our, we, we're forced to spend our money trying to make it profitable. And um, that's going to drive up the cost of, of energy across the board for everyone as well. getting a little bit busy here already today it's probably about and I'm all fogged up here there we go um, it's probably about 6 6 30 this morning I don't know 6 30 maybe give me a chance to get out here so yeah so how does so how does uh, how does that square with what you know how, how does it square with uh, with Bernie and his his fracking ban for the poor, um, he's always talking about he's on the side of the little guy. Democrats have have just glommed onto that mantra. Oh, we're for the little guy and all this stuff. Well, it seems like you're only for the little guy if the little guy agrees with what you want to do. Um, you go and you you cause a situation where there's less available energy for people to use, drive up the cost, then you turn around as the Democrats will do, and then they'll blame the energy companies for it. I mean, it's not their fault. They have to work within the uh, parameters that the government sets. You know, so. I also read a uh, uh, another piece last night when I was getting into this a little bit. And it was a um, report that was released by a couple of bureaus within the EPA, the Environmental Protection Agency. And... Now, understand, um, the EPA is pretty much ran by President Obama, and it's become very intrusive on, um, on businesses, in particular energy producers. But this report basically came out and said that fracking causes a negligible negative effect on water supplies. And that's been one of the big things with some of the environmental Groups is that fracking is is uh, you know has the potential to contaminate our water, and the EPA sits there and says that it doesn't. Then I guess I have a hard time believing that it does. Why would EPA come out and say such a thing, considering how against you know how it seems that there's so much against this uh, fracking and such in the first place. There's my competitor driving past him. I'm going to change things up just a little bit, just talk for a minute about whatever comes into my head here. Uh, hopefully I'll get a few more thoughts on this uh, whole fracking thing. I'm still finding it's hard to keep all my thoughts together and, and um, talk without somebody talking back at me. But yeah, a world, you know, in the United States with um, 
reduced electrical power. That's just something that I have a very difficult time wrapping my arms around. And it's funny because these same kids who, who adamantly support Bernie Sanders, they are one of the main beneficiaries of technology uh, and of the electricity that's used to run it all. Uh, their telephones, their, their cell phones, text messaging, you know, getting on the internet. You know, all these things require electricity. And I don't know, it just doesn't seem to make any sense. Why would you vote against the per why would you vote for a person who is against something that makes your life so convenient? I don't understand that. Then imagine this as well. Let's say that uh, let's say that Sanders does get elected. And he gets what he wants, and he gets his little fracking ban in place. And um, energy costs go up, you know, on the poor, $1,000 a year for those who have to heat with it. Now all of a sudden, you've got people who can't pay their bills, they're getting shut off notices, they're getting turned off in the middle of winter, and the outcry comes from the masses who can't pay their bill, and all of a sudden now Bernie Sanders comes along and says, oh, well, we need to create yet another federal government program to help people pay for their energy bills. Well, that's a bunch of crap too. Don't we have enough people in this country who work, um, who, who pay for things for other people? I think we do. All right, now I'm gonna give, uh, I'm gonna break it up here for a minute. All of my Harley Davidson friends, I'm gonna give you to the count of five. And I'm gonna get on the throttle right here. And this is just, I don't want you to be scared off by any excessive horsepower. You know, there's gonna be a little noise here. Uh, I know you're used to noise too, but on the bikes you guys ride, noise doesn't generally translate to horsepower. So, so here we go. Um, five, four, three, two, one. this median over here there's no concrete divider to uh, stop a uh, state trooper from turning around real quick and catching up to me so anyway that was fun um, it sure is a beautiful day out here today well I don't know if I've got much more to say about uh, Bernie and his anti-fracking man at this point so I'm gonna sign off for now Thanks for watching, and um, I hope you watch more. Have a good day.